Wait, we gotta, we gotta have to have this. Have to Are you keeping it 55 today, Wilson? Sir? I am always keeping it 55. Right. Holy shit, Biden? Pippi und Kaki in Pippi Kakaland. Chad, Biden dropped out. Hey, we, we will hear it from Phil. We have absolutely huge breaking news. President Joe Biden yes. has announced that he is dropping out of the presidential race. Having just released a statement saying, My Come fellow time. Americans, over the past Kamala Harris 2024, three and a half years, we have made great progress as a nation. Okay. Today, America has the strongest economy in the world. We've made historic Let's go Kamala Harris 2024. Is Kamala, is Kamala running? Okay. The, the, she might have a chance. W. Trump. Right, she might have a chance, but I don't think Trump. Uh, like, uh, to go all the way down. I don't. I don't. I, I. I. I don't know if she might have a chance. I don't know if she can handle Trump heat. Right, but um, um, I, I feel like Kamala is is a better choice than Biden. Okay. I don't know, you guys can disagree with that. There is a place in the it's north of the Netherlands opinion. I think you would connect with. Huh? It's a special place for me. Right. Being there once helped me to organize my thoughts. Yeah. Wait, wait, let's, let's hear the news. Wait, 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 let me, 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 let Passed the first gun safety law in 30 years, appointed the first African-American woman to the Supreme Court, and passed the most significant climate legislation in the history of the world. America has never been positioned better to lead than we are today. And adding, I know none of this could have been done without you, the American people. Together we overcame a once in a century. Let's go to the first economic United States, United States, United States. And we revitalized and Watch Michelle Obama run for president. It's been the greatest honor of my life to serve as your president. And while it has been my intention to seek re-election, I believe it is in the best interest of my party and the country for mm. me to stand down and to focus solely on fulfilling my duties as president for the remainder okay. of my term. In closing, I will speak to the nation later this week in more detail about my decision, but adding for now, let me express my deepest gratitude to all those who have worked so hard to see me. Oh, yeah, they, they haven't chosen. They haven't chosen. Have they chosen? Uh, who's gonna, who's gonna be Vice President thing? Kamala Harris for being an extraordinary partner in all this work. And let me express my heartfelt appreciation to the American people for the faith and trust you have placed in me. I believe today what I always said, that there is nothing America can't do when we do it together. We just have to remember we are the United States of America. And so for now, the big question is what happens from here? Of course, this is breaking news. We're gonna start to see more and more coming out from right this moment. And well, obviously we'll talk about the updates and this in greater detail. Okay, what, who are they appoint appointing though? This is it's gonna be Kamala, Kamala has, wait, so uh, America has a female um, president now, damn, I think Trump being shot as motivating people on the left to support however runs against, right? which Biden stayed in so we could watch him lose by a landslide, yeah, I, this is actually a better Thing. Like, I, I have no, I have no fucking, you know, I am not from America, right? I don't really care, okay? So, but this, this, like, otherwise it would have been like a clean sweep from, from Trump. Yeah. Otherwise it would have been a, there might, you know, whoever they appoint, okay, uh, might, might be like, you know, a thing or something, but it, otherwise it would, it, it would have been like a clean yeah, yeah, clean sweep. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's actually good for American democracy. Yeah.